Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the ng style in Angular 15. We will see what is the ng style and in the like we will understand it with an example. So ng style is just similar to the style attribute which we used to have in HTML element. Like for an example in the HTML, if we used to have the div or any paragraph, then we used to change the width or the color so we used to keep the inline css and for that inline css we used to keep the style keyword similar to that in the angular also we have that is called the ng style so ng style is basically a directive that is used to change the dom style of the browser at the front time so here you can see how we can use it so here we are uh, putting this ng style on the div so in the big bracket we keep the keyword ng style and then we give the color and similar here down like we are putting a condition and based on that we are using the ng style so let's understand this ng style with an example so let's go to the visual studio and here what i'm going to do i'm going to use it with the existing array which we created in the previous video ng detail and here we have a couple of the information that we have put here now here what i'm going to do i'm going to use it using the ng4 so this ng4 we have already discussed in the previous video if you didn't watch it i recommend please watch now the video before going through this so let's understand how, how we uh, call the ng style so now here what i'm going to do i'm going to use the ng4 and this ng4 i'm going to take let so let item of this student detail so i'm going to copy it student detail and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a one div and inside this div i'm going to take the ng style so ng and then we have to use the ng style and after that in the double quotes then we have to use these curly braces and inside these curly braces we have to take the double quotes and then what we have to do we have to use color and this color how we will say so item dot age so basically this item age will come from here so this is the age so let's copy it and we will say if age is greater than 18 then what we will say we will say it is red and if it is not greater than 18 then we will put it as a green and after that what we will print here we will just take item dot name is is so let's give is is item dot h so nothing we did so what we did here basically we uh, first we are uh, taking a ng4 and inside that we created div and we are using the ng style and then in this ng style we are putting one condition and what is the condition so condition we put in the double quotes and then we are using the uh, like curly braces and we are checking if color like basically what will be the color so here we are checking if item age is greater than 18 then red otherwise it will be the green so this way we are doing so it will come in the single quotes now let's run this so it's compiled successfully let's go on the browser so all the ages is greater than like 18 so it is coming like this so what i'm going to do i'm going to change a couple of the date less than like 16. now let's save it and go on the browser so we can see like these two uh is are less than 18 that's why these are the green otherwise others are the Right. So this is the way we use it uh, like ng style. Now here we are actually what we are doing we are using it as an inline query. We can use it as in function also. So what I'm going to do I'm going to use it like uh, we are working with ng style with a function. So that we are going to do here now so for that one what we will do here i am going to create one function here so for let's create one function and get h 
and this function what we will pass we will pass the age and it will be the number type and here what we are going to do we are going to check the condition and how we will check the condition is basically let well equal to so this age if it is less than 18 then it will be under 18 otherwise what we will say our 18 so just simply what we have done we, we have uh, taken the one condition here now what we will do we will use the switch case here so in this switch case what we will check we will check the well and then here what we will do we will use the case so switch case we already have understood like what is the switch case so if it is this then what i am going to do return green and case if it is above 18 then what i am going to do i am going to return then i am going to return red or any color which we are looking we can return from here so this is the way like basically like what we have put we have put the condition now next thing what we have to do like uh, once we done from here so let's see why we are getting this error let's see what is the error so let's see okay so what it is saying not all, all code path return a value so what we have to do we have to return one value from here as well because it's a uh, angular 15 and we have to pass like return all the value so now let's save it so we can see like all the uh, values is coming correctly now next thing in the html what we have to do we have to call that method and according to that we have to print the data so for doing that one uh, let's make the changes so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy it here and paste it here now here so this is the array name next thing what we will do in the ng style color here instead of uh, this what i'm going to do i'm going to just call that method name so this is the method name get age and inside this one what i'm going to do i'm going to pass item dot age and uh, all the things will be the same and this is the curly brace we have to put the curly brace also now let's save it and go on the browser and we can see the expected output is similar to this one so this is the way like we use it and like how how we use it the ng style using the method and all these things so in method just simply what we did we created a method and according to the condition we are returning that uh, like green or the red and then we are capturing that through the method here so this is the way we use the ng style in angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you